Hi ladies, I'm Tatiana Whitlock and today we're going to take a look at pistol presentation, give you some skill sets to make sure that you're consistent and safe and putting that gun right where you want it from the ready position, compressed ready at the bench. First things first, we're going to practice this dry fire. We have verified there is no ammunition in the firearm in the magazine and I have no extra equipment on me or any boxes of ammo on the bench. Make sure your workstation and yourself are free and clear of ammo when you're going dry fire. So in order to maintain consistency, we're going to make sure we have eye protection and ear protection. And you can practice this at home too, so you do everything the same at home as you would at the range practicing dry fire. Our gun is set up on the bench just the right way. Slide lock back, magazine out, oriented pointed away from the gun. We'll do a load and make ready just that nice same way and come to your compressed ready position. Your finger is straightened off the frame. You've identified your safe direction. You've identified your target. So in order to do this, I like to say the tip of your safety finger, soon to be trigger finger, is also your pointer finger. And you've been pointing at things since you were a little kid. So the easiest way to think about this is take the tip of that finger and just point to what you're looking at. It will bring the gun naturally into your line of sight. Where this can go wrong is when you're thinking too much about the target and not enough about where you need to move to get to it. So people will do one of two things. They'll bowl and sweep forward, which compromises your stance, or they're a little intimidated of the gun, and so what they'll do is they'll push the gun away from them and fly cast out in space. Again, compromising your grip and compromising your stance. So think about it as point. Take a look at what you want to put those sights on and point the gun straight out and into your line of vision. You can practice this as many times as you need. Set up a cell phone, film yourself from the side to see how you're presenting that pistol. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Take your time, go nice and slow, resist the temptation to punch the gun out in space, bouncing the gun out at the end of that presentation. Do slow-mo presentation, point and straight out in front of you. If you take your time and do it slow, you'll start building that good muscle memory that establishes consistent presentation onto target.